Harry, that was quite some game, wasn't it? It was a, a tough ask to get anything out of that, but it was a tough ask when you went 1-0 down early on. Yeah, we knew it was going to be a, a tough ask coming here, and obviously they're, they're top of the league, and, and rightly so, but um, we, thought we, we felt that we went toe-to-toe with them for, for a large, large majority of the game, but it's just uh, goals at crucial times of the game that's, that set us back, and uh, like you said, one and so early has, has killed us a little bit, and then we're always sort of fighting an uphill battle, but... Like I said, I mean, we've gone toe to toe in 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 a, in a large portion of the game. It's just both boxes that lets us let us down. I was going to say, is it just that that killer pass, that killer thing right at the very end that you need to improve on? Yeah, of course. I mean, we've got in good positions first half, um, a few dangerous balls in the box. It's just not quite there to to put it away, and um, yeah, I think that's that sort of let us down today. Going forward, you're not going to take on Chesterfield every week. There's still so much to play for in this campaign, isn't there? Yeah, definitely. And there's there's a lot of confidence in that changing room and a lot of good players. So we know the, the performances that we can put out week in, week out. And uh, hopefully we, we start again next week and, and hit the ground running again. You're back in the uh, fold. How did you get on today? How did you feel out there on the pitch? I mean, it felt good to, just to be back out there again. It's, it was sort of a, a niggling injury that sort of took its time getting over but it was, uh, yeah, it was really nice to be back out there with the lads and, and trying to help the team yeah. How frustrating has it been over the last uh, few weeks months? Really frustrating for myself personally obviously I'm looking in, looking onto the pitch and I mean we've got a few bodies in recently but when I first got injured it was it was tough because we didn't have we didn't have the, the bodies to, to take over but um, the lads done well since I've been out so it's uh, yeah it's a lot more a lot more bodies in the change room now to help out so fingers crossed we start again and did you feel okay out there playing yeah yeah felt good obviously a little bit of match fitness to build on but it's 65 minutes in my legs so I can build on that next week and what about as to the way forward what can Southend achieve in the remainder of this season with this league I mean it's so it's so tight always and uh, there's so many teams separated by a few little little points it's um, it's just imperative that we, we just take it game by game uh, we know the, the quality that we've got and we know that we can really do something special if, if we string a, a few good results together so that's what we'll be doing See how it pans out Thanks Harry Cheers Were you playing through the pain a little bit with Ine before you came out of the side was it a niggling injury or did it just gradually sort of get worse or? Yeah I mean it's sort of the, the whole season Oh really? really? Yeah, yeah. yeah but it was one of them where once the adrenaline kicked in during the games I sort of forget about it a little bit and just got on with it but towards the back end of of November and early December it was just a little bit too much to, to play through and just had to get it sorted so took the time to get it, get it right and, and hopefully that's sorted now.